How does Builder.io work? Let's dive in. Builder plugs into your existing site and app stacks to power page building, section building, and CMS data within them. As an example, let's look at what integrating page building into an existing site looks like. Builder has APIs and SDKs for all modern frameworks and platforms. You can add the Builder component, which dynamically renders content, into any part of your stack. So for integrating page building, we'll probably put it in between our header and footer. You fetch JSON from our APIs, and that JSON describes the layout to render, like put your hero here and some columns there. You fetch the JSON from our backend. You can query custom parameters and user attributes, like the current URL path. This allows editors in Builder to choose what page should be seen on what URL or what content should be shown to what visitors. This integrates with your framework, so with Next.js, you'd integrate with Git Static Props. Then you can open up the Builder Visual Editor pointed directly to your website. When in editing mode, you will see an Add Block button right where you integrated the Builder components. In the editor, you can drag and drop with your components or built-in components. You can even allow custom styling of these components if you like for a full low-code visual editing experience. The building blocks of Builder are actually components from your code that you drag and drop with. We provide some basics out of the box that are actually registered the same way. You can take any component in your code base and register it with Builder, and then just describe what types of props it takes, then we will generate UIs for the props, such as a text input for the hero title here. The title is then passed as the title prop in your component. So when you drag and drop your hero onto the page, you then can fill in the inputs and then see the props update right there in real time. This simple process powers a number of amazing websites out there so that non-development teams can just click to create pages, sections of pages, or data and publish remotely, and developers can register components when needed and otherwise focus on more complex tasks and not worry about pixel pushing or new page layouts when non-development teams need them. The whole process is API driven and supports the features that you'd expect. Things like static site generation, A-B testing, integrations, scheduling, real-time collaboration, analytics with personalization, content management, roles and permissions, and everything has great performance. If you don't know me already, my name is Steve. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Builder, and I wrote the first 500,000 lines of code on this thing. And so I appreciate you taking the time to see what we've created, and I can't wait to show you all the new things we have in the works.